This candle's a piece of shit. It's supposed to keep mosquitoes off me, but it's not doing a damn thing. I could hear the fucking little shitters buzzing by my ear. I'm trying to drop my brand new phone. Oh well. The charcoal is smoking, so it should cover the area pretty soon in smoke and that'll definitely keep them away. I really need a fucking tripod or something for my phones. God, it doesn't help that it rained earlier today. My whole backyard's like a nesting for mosquitoes. Anyways, hi, so I'm not sure how long I can be. I'm trying to keep my voice low because you guys don't know I moved to an HOA neighborhood. I don't know how all this works, so I, I'm trying to keep it down, not be too loud because, well, one thing. This wall here makes my parents' room, and then, yeah, I'm just trying to wake any neighbors up. It's 2 in the morning. I'm not sure how the neighbors will fare with me grilling at 2 in the morning. That's not quiet at all. I don't care. I need my Dr. Pepper. Oh, man, work uh, was a bit of a doozy. We're not talking about that. So it's been like three, going on three weeks since I moved. Um, yeah, we're finally just now starting to get settled in. Me and Dad, you know, moving shit from the old house and then obviously going back to work. It was a doozy. I, for, I forget how much of a doozy moving is, but I'm glad it's basically done. Like my dad had like his friend go back and you know, dismantle the, the carport in the uh, storage area. But uh, yeah, we did a lot of heavy lifting to bring everything here. Thankfully, my dad has a friend who loaned him a truck with lift, so moving the grill, piece of cake. Moving the fridge, oh, thank fucking God for that fucking truck, dude. Lifting that thing would have been a nightmare. Like, yeah, we had my dad's van, to move everything else, like the furniture and TVs and all that, but, oh man, I could imagine having to lift a fucking fridge. So, thank the Lord for my dad's friend for allowing him to borrow his truck with the fancy little lift. Because, man, such a cakewalk to lift, bringing the grill and the fridge and the washing machines, the washer and dryer. But, uh, yeah, um, so, what do I, what do I think about my new house after living here for like three weeks? Well, there's some upsides and downsides. First downside being, you know, it's a, it's an HOA neighborhood. You know, we don't have all the freedom. I come to find out. But uh, yeah, we're just trying to piss off the person, owner, landlord, I don't know what the fuck you call them. Yeah, we're just, um, yeah, still just, just trying to get the hang of everything, you know, learn the rules, the do's and don'ts, because I know you gotta get, like, permissions to modify, like, your backyard, which I think is fucking dumb. Like, dude, we own the house. Let's do what we want. Like, the storage, the car park, we definitely could not have here. I, mean, I don't know how we can work well the backyard's huge that's a big plus it's an upgrade from where i used to live i mean they, they were, it's definitely nice uh, there is a swimming pool and a gym but we have yet to get our card but i definitely gotta check out the gym when i can i have to do some kind of fucking orientation thing i, I guess it's still like the landlord or whoever will get to know us and they would see that we're trustworthy you know we treat the equipment well because you know i'm sure in gym people would treat the equipment like trash and all that so i'm guessing that's like the whole reasoning why there's like all these regulations and rules and whatnot just to make sure everything's all in well because otherwise it'll be a ghetto piece of shit like my old neighborhood technically speaking according to my dad that old neighborhood that we moved from is in hoa Fucking mosquito. It's an HOA. 
But I didn't see like any office or anything. They definitely wasn't enforcing anything. There's like nobody, like no. I don't know. I don't. I don't really don't know how all this works. He just mentioned, you know, if they actually did their jobs, people would have like shitty fences. But I guess they didn't bother you know, enforcing them to fix their gates or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Just whatever. So some upsides is a big one is I get a lovely view whenever like it's raining and thundering. It's a lovely view. We're at the countryside. Another thing is we're really close to a Bucky's. Really, really close, like ten minutes away. So good brisket sandwiches, bro. Oh, so fucking good. Um, let's see. <coughs> a lot of stores. It's like maybe five, six minutes away. Like there's like Walmart or Kroger. Like Kroger is fucking huge over there. Very huge. There is an Amazon facility right outside my neighborhood. I'm going to try to transfer. And as I learned today from my PA, my the person I was working for today, he told me it's full time over there. So if I could transfer there, hallelujah. But fat chances, because everybody who works at the Amazon building at work right now is all from Forney, so everybody's trying to transfer. And I even have a friend who you know worked with worked with me. You know we've been with Amazon for like two going on three years, and he's been trying to transfer to Forney. Meanwhile, one week after I started Amazon, I've been trying to transfer to the Mesquite one. Which, ironically, when I moved here. There was an opening to transfer the mesquites. Make sure it's uh, it is closer, but I don't feel like starting all over. And I got some friends at Forney or Hutchins, or whatever you know where I'm working right now. But yeah, I have to fucking. It's not really worth it. It's a fucking thirty minute drive to where I work, over there in the Wilmer Hutchins area, and there's no Popeyes here. Son of a bitch. But the upside is, I've been told by my parents that somewhere there's going to be a Popeye being built. They're still building stuff here, you know. Um, Forney is a growing city. So, another thing is, an HAB is being built too. And my mom is hyping up the, the seasonings from them. So, I got some uh, expectations to look forward to. But uh, yeah, like I mentioned earlier, my backyard's pretty huge, very huge. Um, what else? What else? What else? I mean, no, I just said the downside was work is far, so it's not really worth it. I'm thinking of if I don't transfer to this Amazon or go full time on the Amazon I work at now, I might just like work at Bucky's, dude, because. I saw a little post, twenty dollars an hour just to clean the shitters, the bathrooms. You know, they're known for having to clean these bathrooms. So, yeah, I mean, obviously they got some. I'm pretty sure they're very, very strict with you how you clean the bathroom because it's phenomenal. But uh, yeah, dude, twenty dollars an hour though. Golly, I'm considering it. Definitely considering it. Uh, let's see, what what did I say? Pluses, the stores, big Kroger's, because I usually frequent Kroger's. Um, oh, yeah, it's a Lowe's. Um, there's this place called Cowboy Chicken. Amazing stuff. Yeah, I don't have any Popeyes, but Cowboy Chicken, I think, makes up for it. If you don't know what it is, it's a obviously a, a restaurant. Um, it's known for wood fire grilled chicken so but even their fried chicken is pretty fucking good they're tenders i don't know what the seasoning put but it's kind of peppery and love it love it but um overall i am enjoying this place for what it is i mean honestly the house itself is uh a little bougie to my uh liking well I say that, but I'm just used to like living uh, in kind of 
ghetto place. It's not to say the house I lived in, well, I mean, the house I previously lived in was kind of ghetto. You guys might not have known that it's actually ghetto because it looks nice. Like, yeah, the house looks beautiful, but there is just some things like the gate fucking up, the water not really heating up, there's some cracks that started happening because the foundation was starting to be shit because that, that tree in the backyard you see all the time, the roots was going underneath the house and it was really fucking up the foundation. So yeah, the house started cracking up and oh man, it was just not really worth what we were paying for rent. So yeah, here we are. Now we're paying for our own house. Got a pretty good deal according to my family. To the point where the fucking landlord, whatever, is pissy. He's like, ah, I don't know. I don't know how they accepted it. I don't know. Our uh, agent, she did an amazing job. God bless her. She even gave us a fucking TV and some other stuff. Actually, I know she gave us a champagne. I don't know what my parents did with the bottle, actually. Speaking of alcohol, I have with me some leftover bubblegum vodka I made for my Christmas cookout. <laughs> Old boys ain't really drink any, so that's fine. More alcohol for me, so let's uh, let's commemorate this move, shall we? I don't really have anything else. I just have vodka. I already drank up my Fireball. I drank up my Matsui whiskey, and my finally I finished the what was the Jameson Stout Edition. But um, yeah, a little salute. I'm not gonna get too crazy because it's pretty late, and uh, yeah, I'm. Drinking sugary flavored vodka, which is pretty fucking bad. It tastes good, but it's dangerous. Salute. Oh. Oh, still good. But mighty dangerous, because if you guys don't know, it's so sugary because it infused with the gum. And this applies to Jolly Rancher as well. Or anything, any any candy you infuse with vodka. While it is good, it's fucking dangerous. Like, it's gonna give you a fucking hangover. If you're not careful. But, uh, yeah. I should be fine, man. I had a whole pizza earlier today. Like, New York-style Domino's for free. The guy came by and gave me uh, my new phone. I'm using a Galaxy S24 Plus. Going from... S22. Ironically, you know, the last video I did was in Mesquite. Last video in Mesquite using the Galaxy S22. Now here I am. First video in Forney and first video using my brand new phone, the S24 Plus. And my sister's got an upgrade to the S23. Um, reason being is uh, I had to trade in my 22 for this phone. You know, for it to be free. Because if I didn't, then I had to pay the like if I, I could have kept my 22, but I would have to pay the uh, the taxes for this phone and uh, it's two hundred dollars for a fucking tax. And I'm like, okay, I don't need my Galaxy S22 that bad. So uh, yeah, I just said, you know what? Screw it. This is a a big upgrade anyways. Bigger phone, bigger storage. Cause piece of shit 22 was already running out of storage. It's like a, what 120 gigabytes I think. And like a good chunk of it was already being taken up by the system data. And then you'll know, have like apps like Azure Lane, Fake Grand Order. Dude, Azure Lane took up a lot of space. And so yeah, I was just. Yeah, I was just trying to be careful with my um, videos in the past because I, I see the little red text here just telling me how much hours I have footage I can record based on the storage. I'm like, oh man. But uh, yeah, now, it, now it's all good. It is all good. So, yeah, new home, new phone. Not sure if you notice any difference in the quality. I think the quality is all great. Even even from my S9, still need to try to get that repaired. Like it's still like flashing green. I'm hoping that if I can get like the screen repaired because it's cracked, it would be better. But uh, that's a thing for another time. So let me. Um, Show you in the back uh, backyard at least. I'm, I'm not sure if I could show the inside. But obviously, it's like two in the morning. Parents are sleeping, and well, family is rather private. So I'm not really sure they're cool with me 
showing the house around. So let me at least show you the backyard. And as you see, it is quite the upgrade. Check out the view. When I first moved here, there was a lightning show going on here. And I could just see it from my roof. Not the roof from my room. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah. It's a pretty nice night. It was actually not thundering, but like I saw lightning in the horizon on my way back. Not sure where it's coming from. Uh, oh, probably over there. Let's see if any get any uh, lightning. Probably not. Uh, there's my room right there. Uh, but yeah, you know, funny I mentioned that I don't want to show like the front of my house or anything. Like if someone's like devoted enough, they could probably just dox me just from this backyard. The links people go to to find a location is crazy. So you guys may or may not know about Chris Chan. He's pretty infamous. Well, he's trying to keep it lay low. And he was playing, uh, I think, Magic the Gathering or something. I don't know. He was, playing, he was at some kind of card game, card shop game. And obviously him trying to lay low given the circumstances he's in. Well, his uh, devoted stalkers found them just by the ceiling of the building. Like inside the building, the chair and the ceiling. They recognized the place. I don't know fucking how, but yeah, it's fucking crazy how people will go through all the links. Uh, okay, cold are done. Okay, so this is what I'm having tonight. Oh, what do you know? Same shit as always. Fajitas, glizzies, and even a serrano pepper. But dude, look at this one. This is a fucking huge, monstrous serrano pepper. I don't know where... This Krogers get their Serranos from, but damn, I'm gonna die from that. Yes, I'm still trying to get my heat tolerance up. What can I say? I'm a fucking weak white boy. Can't tolerate a little spice. But I'm trying at least. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. Just give me some time, alright? Uh, but, uh, yeah. That fucking hell, the mosquitoes, dude. I, I, for a while, the mosquitoes weren't bothering me, but now they're here again. I was thinking, oh man, that smoke really did the trick. I need to buy some fucking spray. I don't know why, how or why. In the three weeks I lived here, I didn't think to buy some mosquito spray. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. I was hoping, I mean, this shit was actually working before. Normally this and the smoke would actually keep those mosquitoes away for a while. But I just... Oh, I forgot to mention, that's another another downside is the fucking mosquitoes. They're so huge, dude. I know I mentioned earlier that I just heard them buzzing by my ear. But, dude, they're gigantic here. And, oh, my God. I see flies. Like, earlier today, I saw, like, flies around the grass. Well, besides, you know, the dogs shitting around. But they're just all around. There's, like, these weird black fuzzy caterpillars well i don't see them now but you know when i first moved in i saw them and uh yeah a lot of bugs i need i really need to treat the yard it's fucking bad dude especially mosquitoes they're they're the worst ones and it doesn't help that have we have like four or five like little storm drains around here they're a perfect nesting ground for the mosquitoes I don't know why I'm stepping the grass now. It's still kind of wet from the little rain we had today. But, oh man. You guys gotta see the view here whenever it like rains or thunderstorms. Whatever, just lightning. A light show. One of these days it will happen again and you guys will see it with me. As I saw it. Day zero when I moved in. I actually got a little footage of that. I might include that too. Maybe not. I don't know. Actually, no, because it's in my computer and uh, yeah, I'm lazy. I'm just going to upload this straight to YouTube. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much it so far. All is good here. 
Hallelujah. You know what? I will end off this video with one more shot. How about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This video is getting pretty long. All right. This is the long, one of the longest videos. Actually, no. This is the longest video I made in a while. I know I made a longer video before. And God bless anybody who watched all 40 minutes of it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and end it off with a shot of another bubblegum vodka. But yeah, so far, this place has got a lot of potential. I have some ideas on what to do with the backyard, and my parents are pretty cool with it. Like, I was like, I want to plant a tree, but I'm trying to decide, do I want a pecan tree, a peach tree, or an apple tree? I would love a Japanese cherry blossom tree, but where the fuck am I going to find that in Texas, you know? Unless I can somehow get that imported from Japan, which I'm sure would be very expensive. Hey, a man can dream. Anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty long. If if I can do a little house tutorial, I'll definitely do that. If not, well, at least you might get a days my day zero clip at some point. I'll share that at some point. So until then, salute. God be with you. God bless you. Stay beautiful. Salute. See y'all next time.